Hello everybody, Don here from Dad Next Play Games. Playing some Star Citizen tonight. I am flying solo. Dax was uh, helping his mom with a craft fair all weekend, so already in bed. Kind of tired. Really stupid early, both days. This is in 3.14. This is uh, Sunday, November 7th. 3.15 is coming soon ish kind of expected it to be here already and i found out last night while i was playing but uh there is going to be a full wipe for 3.15 so i need to get some practice in on earning money because uh once we get the wipe i will go back down to 5000 alpha uec <laughs> I have, have not been space poor in a while. So we are going to actually check and see what mining lasers I currently have on the prospector. Get the list. Populate. Prospector. And let's see what mining heads I have to choose from. Weaponry, we are currently using the, where is it? Where does it fall in here? Okay, so we're using the Arbor MH mining laser. And I did find some Quantanium Rocks uh, Q-type asteroids last night mining in the belt around Yella. And it really struggled with it. Um, Got to try to remember which one I was using before. Let's try the Lancet. The Arbor was really struggling, even with the C-types, with the Quantanium. So, let's call out Prospector. I do have one, uh, one refinery job that finished up tonight, but it was pretty low. Uh, there was a lot of inert in the, uh, in the asteroids I was mining last night. Pretty much just doing it for practice. Elevator did not load. Turn the chat off. If this elevator is loaded. Yes, it is. Okay. Pad four. Pad four, right? Yep. Pad four. I like that little quality of life. Thing that they did on there of putting the pad or hangar number on your ship icon really good stuff and the first load of quantanium that i mined last night i actually had to jettison uh because i went to the wrong <laughs> not only did i go to the wrong station once but i went to the wrong station twice neither of the two uh r, &R stations that i went to had uh, refinery decks on them. So by the time I got uh, in my ship for the third one, it was already doing the uh, the warning tones of about ready to. And that one actually had, uh, I think it was probably like three or four SCU of Quantanium. It would have been a pretty good payout. Um, and back up. This server seems to be a little on the laggy side. See if I can actually get into my ship. Uh, I got eaten by my or eaten by my ship twice last night. Both of which times I died. So at least tonight my ship has not eaten me and killed me. So that's a better start.
power on? Affirmative. Skyline. So we're gonna go. We are basing out of Crew L1, and we're gonna go back over to Yella. Raise landing gear. Landing mode disengaged. There is my engage jump drive. Engage quantum jump. Thank you. And please visit again. Ready jump drive. Initializing jump drive. There we go. We gave it the wrong command. Engage. Jumping. Engage jump drive. Quantum drive engaged. That's probably server lag. Engage. Making a jump. There we go. I also tried doing some bounty hunting missions last night. They have apparently changed the way that energy weapons work uh, with the, uh, the heat system. So basically, they my Panther repeaters had like 24 charges and they had to recharge. That was a bit different. And I think my sucker punch that I had on the nose of my Gladius had it eight shots before it had to recharge and I could not figure out how to overcharge or overheat the um, the shields and the weapons I, I couldn't figure that out in the uh, in the system I don't know if that's still a thing or not now with the wipe basically my initial source of income is going to be the prospector until I get enough money to start using the freelancer to start doing some uh, commodity run. Once I get to the point where I have enough money that I can rent a rock, I could take the freelancer out and do some rock mining. Uh, but we'll we'll see we'll see what I do. I do have some low buy-in um, trading runs that used to work. I haven't really done them since 3.12 this way engage initiate jump drive off engage engage jumping now Engage. Quantum drive engaged. That is. I'm not sure if that's a player behind me. Over one of the OMs. I think OM is orbital marker. What a jump the first time. Oh, 
That was not a good enough jump there. Uh, let's jump over to OM4, I guess. Whoever is coming in behind me does not necessarily appear to have owed me. Skyline. Out route set just in case I need it. Very hot. Change camera. Switching camera. Yeah, banged it up a little bit. This prospector is not very nimble. type not what I'm looking for Let's see what we got down. Couple of cluster. Come on. M type, not what I'm looking for. Looking for uh, C or Q type. E type, probably also going to be E type. type tiny little baby one
see how many rocks we got. We got a pretty good cluster on the ping, but so far only one of them the rock that would actually benefit possibly, depending on the type. Close enough to end the thing. Come on, fire at your skin. Move down this cluster. One promising for the night. doesn't want to scan either. Okay, so we got three. Okay. E tight. What does M type? This torque imbalance is really getting annoying. Tungsten Laranite. Okay, so M type has Laranite. Being picky tonight. Three in this cluster, four.
Why won't you scan? E-type, probably also E-type. They seem to cluster up my types. Yep, E-type as well. far one and it's close to twenty percent layer eight could be good I think I just got lucky last night with finding those Quantanium rocks. Is this Q-type? Yeah, Q-type. Here we go. Let's see if I'll even be able to bust this one. Come on, have good percentage. Yeah, 2%. Well, see what we can do. Okay. Green range is a little bit bigger than the Arbor had. See how the power transfer goes. Find where one of the cracks are. There we go. I get lucky with a good break. Yeah, this is already going easier. It's a lot more stable. Now the instability in this one is fairly low. That's definitely helping. To see what kind of a break we get here. Hopefully it will be all in one chunk. Nice soft. Okay, it's 4% quantanium in that one, almost 5%. That one's not even worth breaking. Unless I get really stupid lucky on the secondary break. That one is junk to me. So far we got two shards with some quantanium in it. That one. It's 
got 4% almost. Got almost 5%. Circled around here. Sun is at our back. Five percenter. No quantanium in it. None. That one has some. That's got the point four. We basically have two frag. Show me my lines. He had a good break. That one's inert. That was a pretty good break compared to what we could have gotten. Give me my lines, please. Feathering that power up and down. Trying to stay completely out of the red. It's got five percent quantanium. No quantanium. Ooh, ten percent. Okay. So we want this one. This one. This one. Yes. Hmm. Less than an SCU. 
Ready jump drive? Activating jump drive. Engage. Engage quantum jump. I think that was a player ship coming in at me. Not sure. Something was popping up on the radar. At least the good thing is, I'm, I am able to find the rocks that I'm looking for. And I now have a mining head on here, so definitely when the uh, when the reset starts in 3.15, I'm gonna want to get the the lancet head for the prospector. That seems to handle the uh, the Q type pretty well. Engage. Jumping. Super annoying. Age. Initiate jump drive. Lower landing gear. Engaging landing mode. Landing gear down. I gotta remember to repair my ship. Kinda of banged it up a little. waiting for the ATC pop-up to come up. Contacts. Executing subroutines. Contacts. Yeah, I'm getting some weird lag to this.
Nice and Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. Power off. Acknowledged. And let's pop on down to the refinery deck. Let's see if the ship if the ship eats me. Didn't bang it up too bad. I will say the prospector got a got a decently beefy shield for its uh, for its size clocks. Sometimes the uh, the elevators take so long to come over that I am not sure if I actually hit it the first time or not. Or if it's just taking a while for the elevator to get over. I gotta remember which refining method I used last night. I think it was like 4N or 4X or something. Like that. They had pretty good yield on the um, Quantanium, and it was about seven hours. Want to get in here, tour the ship. way I think it took the input from the button Look, it's going to the refinery. Eaten for the doors to open. Have a nice little jog over to the binary deck controls. Now, I actually want to stop in here real quick and refresh my memory on how much the Lancet is going to cost. Rentals. Hey, back again, I see. Welcome. For the shop terminal. Right. Hi, good to have you back. Impact. Those are those are the big ones. Clothing one. See anything you like? Finding laser heads. Okay. See anything you like? Uh, so the Lancet. Okay, that's that's not that bad. Twenty three thousand five hundred. It's not gonna take that much work to get the Lancet head back. Hi, good to have you back. 
Okay, one completed order. See anything you like? So I got 182 units of Quantanium last night. Set up the work order. Uh, so we want to do... Ooh, we only got 28. 78, I mean. So, Faron. That's a quote. Fairly cheap and moderate, moderate time. So we're going to confirm that. Uh, let me see. That is... 13 this I think. That only showing my gray cat. Got to do some troubleshooting here. It should show my freelancer. Maybe my freelancer isn't here. It would be nice if they had the um, the ship terminals down here, because now I got to go all the way back up. Check what's going on with my freelancer. Probably the freelancer is not here. Probably over at uh, Port Olisar. I will need to do a, a claim on it. Four hangers and hat. This way, let me take a left, right. I'm, I'm starting to remember the layout of the station, at least. Uh, yes, Freelancer is in Port Olisar. Come on. Do an insurance claim. It'll take 10 minutes to get over here. I'm going to check and see how much the expedite time is going to be. Three minutes. Yeah, I'm going to expedite it. It's all fake money at this point anyway. Gonna go poof shortly. Nope, to the right. Then we go left. Yeah, for some reason, I can't bring up. This was happening to me last night. Dinings on foot. I can't bring up my inventory. token <gasps> personal inner thought f plus mouse 2 uh, okay that's a weird combo but i guess yeah that works Now, unfortunately, on the reset, uh, two of my ships that I have, the Gladius was purchased with 
in-game currency, so that will go away. And my rock was also purchased with in-game currency. Uh, so I will have to grind back to both of those. I am terrible right now at uh, doing combat missions. I haven't touched this since 3.13, I think. So I am pretty rusty on the... Uh, on the combat maneuvers. I just want to see exactly how much storage this is going to actually take up in the Freelancer when it's loaded. Just so I have an idea of how many mining trips of these I will have to do before I am ready to sell. Don't know if the freelancer is going to be fully there yet. Everything all right? Yep, not there yet. A couple more minutes. Go down to the store and see what else. Is there is the mining consumables? Server is it? Aggie. Um, okay, so they do have the Pembroke. Okay. Weapons. Orbit mining attachment. Got the multi tool. Clothing, okay. don't really care about. Mining modules. Brand. Instability minus 75. Finding everything all right? Stabilized power. Okay. I don't think I got to check. I had, had modules. Because uh, I, I was running like two filter mods at one point. Decreased the amount of inert materials I was collecting. Prospector. Yeah, I completely forgot about equipping these. See anything you like? Yeah, I wanted to decrease the amount of inert that I picked up. Uh, on this type of run with the Quantanium, not that big of a deal. Because you're typically not... Or, in my situation where it was only like that one rock. See anything you like? Wasn't a huge deal with the inert material because I didn't even I didn't even fill up. Freelancer and that's gonna be one point three two it's 66 SCU so it's 13 S okay let's collect that and I want to visualize how much this delivered pop on backup call out the, yeah, the freelancer Because one thing you can do is, you sh well, I've never tried this. Theoretically, you'd be able to. Because uh, I'm going to have to go to, uh, like, Orville CBD or something like that. So if I'm not full of the mind ore, I should be able to buy some commodities and fill up that empty space.
wonder what this station would have that Lorville. And I gotta check and see if Orison has the correct locations for selling this stuff at. Not familiar enough with Orison to know if it has a central business district or not. I avoid uh, Area 18 because I crash most of the time that I uh, load into that city. It stresses the computer out too much. It does not load very well. I usually wind up crashing the desktop. I don't usually wind up crashing my ship. Uh, like computer, like the program physically crashes. And I will say Orison handled it pretty well. Um, Microtech usually does pretty good, except I have issues with the trams. Sometimes not letting me in or out. Add four. Four. Let's see if we've got 13 SCU. I have to round that up to 14, technically. Um, means we be able to. 46. 46 SCU of cargo. Somewhere else. That is not much. That's it. Oh, okay. So it fills up this section. Yeah, okay. That's that's more than I thought. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eleven. Five, six. Okay. I was expecting 13 boxes for 13 SCU. Let's go to the um, Galleria for the uh, commodity terminals. Bobby. I just want to see if you can actually fill up the, the unused space in your cargo ship with, with uh, regular commodities. Now I do have, uh, I don't even remember how many SU it was. Now, realistically, I would wait until the uh, the second job is done before filling in the blank space, if that's even possible. Then I want to see what they actually have to sell, or not what they have to sell, what I what I can buy from them. Yeah, yeah, that would be correct. What they are selling to me as the uh, commodity. Where is... Okay, so we've got a weapon shop. i got to find where the business office is. 
food courts that way. Let's check upstairs. Are there not what I'm looking for? Platinum. Hey. Trading and shipping con. What I'm looking for? I don't remember being platinum met. Yeah, that's like parts and stuff. Not what I'm looking for. Armor shop. Cool. Again, not what I'm looking for. That's a bit. Admin building or admin officer. This is what I'm looking for. Let's see if I can select the freelancer. Oh, all they have is scrap. I could get. Two hundred fifty three SC. Crap would basically be going back to Port Olisar. Hmm. So basically, what I'd want to do is find a another uh, like a jump point to go stop at first. Before going back to Lorville. Uh, pop back down to the refinery. See how many SCU. Second job was. And depending on when 3.15 comes out. I may have a chance to actually. Do a second video this week on this. See how much this sells for. I don't know. I don't remember what the going price is on uh, Quantanium. The other stuff's going to be fairly cheap. The Quantanium is basically yeah, the valuable cargo then. A moving glass has been found. Report to the manager's office if you think it's yours. Oh no, did I drop my moving glass? I might have dropped my mobile glass. I don't care. Nope. Who got mine? Sarcasm. Bad joke. Okay. This is in. Yes. Say anything you like? Four ninety three, two thirty four, and seventy six. <sighs> Centi SCU you need a hundred to equal one SCU. This is four. Five seven. Roughly about another seven to eight SCU, if I'm reading that correctly. Now this does give a bonus yield to Quantanium, uh, which is one of the reasons that I've been coming back here. Quartz is unaffected, Barrel is affected. Uh, I don't think these are really worth much. It would be nice if I could single out just the Quantanium. The, that's kind of what I want. But if I'm running it, I might as well refine the quartz in the barrel anyway. Uh, because selling the unrefined over here is pretty much just gives you trash price. Shit. 
two more hours and that one will be done. Okay, so they have food and water here. That is good to know. They have med pens and oxy pens. See, that's that's the type that I was I was mining right, now. or that could be a C type. Um, I'm guessing that's probably a a C or a Q type. What do they have for rentals? Uh, Ray Cat Rock. Right. Okay, you can rent a Gray Cat Rock. 4300 SC or Alpha 8 Alpha UEC. I'm in commodity mode here. Um, Feel free to take a look around. We so for 5000 SC or out 5000 UEC, you could rent a Gray Cat, take it out with the prospector, do some Laranite mining, and make roughly, depending on how well I did and if I got bombed. <laughs> uh, or blown up by a pirate could roughly make 180k and that would be enough to buy one and then I would have one in my inventory again not bad so the cargo ship you could rent is a cutlass black which I think has 30 something SCU I think it's about half of the freelancer the freelancer's got 66 um, I do miss my freelancer max that I had that was like 120 120 something SCU or it might have been what was it 66. Yeah, I think it was like 122 SCU. 30k, Eric. No. <laughs> uh, well, I guess that's a good time to stop. Um, now, the good thing is, I had stored my ship. I was not flying with it. So... My cargo is safe in the ship, um, and the refinery job persists over, so that's good to go. So I didn't lose anything, didn't lose any cargo, didn't lose any money. Uh, I'm going to edit here. I'm Don from Dad Next Play Games. Have a good one.